Hello. Hi, everybody. How are you? So, can you hear us? If you can, please just um, send a comment so I can check if everything is okay. Forse devi mutare. Mm. Sì. Ok. <laughs> non so, chiedi se... Non sto vedendo i messaggi. No. Eh, diceva... Um... Ah, ok. Ok, ok. We can hear you perfectly. Ok, ok, perfect. So, what about the new video? What about Black Art, the video and the song? I want to hear from you. <laughs> so, because, you know, it's a pretty heavy song and we uh, unveiled our black metal side. So, it has been fun for us to to make up like that and uh, <laughs> we had fun we had fun we unleashed uh, the evil <laughs> okay marco says it's a banger thank you very much james i love the video cyber i love it thank you very much <laughs> Nicole says, era perfetta. I, I really appreciate your comment on uh, Federico <laughs> food, people stealing food and making Federico angry. So, <laughs> so he took off all the evil inside him. <laughs> Thank you. I love all the heavier stuff. Now, you know, I'm... We are uh, checking if everything is fine, so... Oh, oh okay, perfect. Now, everything works. So, greetings from Argentina. It was amazing. I really love the heavier song and mood. Nice, nice. Thank you very much. And um, so, you know, I'm curious to know your opinion because uh, so far we delivered, um, how can I say, a power epic song and then uh, a really fast uh, epic ballad, let's say, it, and uh, this evil evil mood song. So I, I'm really curious to know your uh, opinions and... Uh, which kind of mood you prefer? <laughs> I'm really curious. So every comment is is welcome. Oh, the song and the video really step up. The band is really developing very well. Thank you very much, Pat. <laughs> okay, hola desde Argentina. Any plans for touring on Latin America? We are working on it. We are doing all we can to to come to Northern and Latin America as soon as possible. So keep finger crossed. <laughs> okay. Hello folks, looking forward to all the school's reaction. <laughs> we too, we are looking forward to have fun by watching it. And uh, we were even thinking on watching the reaction if we can, we could uh, watch it uh, together. Yes, yes, probably. yes, yes. Okay. Hello, do you only do music or do you still have regular jobs that you have to go to every day? So what I can say from my side is that I am uh, during the day and the week, I am a dentist, I, I am an orthodontist. So yes, I continue on going to work because I love to do both things. <laughs> it's a part of me. Yeah, I just uh, do music instead. Uh, but of course, music, uh, you know, uh, it con concerns uh, a lot of things like... Uh, 
you know, uh, taking care of orders, stuff like that. So it's not only composing music, but it's everything else. Hi, Michael. Hi, Bruce Michael. Bruce Michael. Bruce Michael. Hi, Bruce Michael. Yeah, Hi, the best Clark surname Dallas. ever. <laughs> uh, so, guys, before I forget, remember to join our Discord if you want to be updated and if you want to chat with us. Just... Uh, okay, so era. Ah, <laughs> culo. Vai Federico, go! E non va! Uh, nothing. Uh, just... Uh, ah no, aspetta. Allora. <laughs> just a second, we are... Uh, e qua. We are looking for things for you. Mm. So this is the address to join the Discord. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so everything works again. And remember to join, I mean, not to join, but to check frozencrown.net and ET, no? Yes. <laughs> um, to find all the info about our uh, European tour, all the tickets, and also uh, where you can pre order our album. Uh, Call of the North. So let us know what you think about it and let us know about, uh, you know, everything. And thank you to all of you that already, you know, purchased our stuff from our shop. Uh, thank you for supporting us. We do everything with a lot of love, all the graphic stuff and uh, all, the <laughs> all the cups and coffee material all the t-shirts and uh okay. you want to tell the guys uh, about our tour yes so we are really excited because um from the first of april we will uh leave uh on tour uh, for our european tour before that we have uh, uh many gigs in italy and then we leave <laughs> so we are looking forward for March uh, for the release date of the album and uh, for the release party for the Italian gigs and for the European gigs. So I'm sorry for people from uh, out of Europe, but <laughs> I would like to know how many of you we will meet on tour in the European gigs. So please write us. <laughs> And uh, how many of them are joining us in our uh, gigs uh, around Europe? Okay, so Federico is taking care of the lighting. Yes. Yes, it's good. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm losing the comments. Um, ta -ta -ta -ta. Eh, I can't see. <laughs> Capelli di merda che ho. <laughs> allora, I'm waiting for a hoodie for my hoodie. Yes. Soon. Uh, come to Brazil. Yes. Soon. <laughs> Of course, we will stop replying to everybody that says, come to play in our country. Yes, of course, we want to play in your country. We want to play in all countries. But of course, that doesn't depend from us. So, yeah, we are really happy about you asking about that. But, uh, okay. Ah, è un'altra domanda. Uguale. Okay. Uh, didn't, you didn't get my joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We, we get the joke, of course. Mad fan voices, yes, <laughs> but we took an advantage, you know, to, to the, the chance to talk about that. Uh, yeah, so, so what are we going to do during this tour? We're going to play a very long set, which is uh, by today's standards, you know, quite average. I mean, it's one hour long, and we're going to play a lot of songs. 
we're going to be special guests of our friends, which are Nano World of Steel. So that means that maybe you're going to uh, listen to Jade uh, sing in Italian, probably. We don't, <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. And, we will um, see. Yeah. But anyway, yes, ordering our CDs from a Amazon doesn't hurt us, but we are not earning any money from that. So if you want to support us directly, you should buy that from uh, frozencrown.net, uh, from, from our big cartel. Otherwise, if you want to buy it from Amazon, just buy it from Amazon. But you are not going to have it signed and uh, you're not directly helping us. So that's your choice. Yes. That's it. So... I will be in Belgium, and before uh, there was Met, uh, Met Fem Voices in uh, Germany, I don't remember where. And Marco will come at Legend, and wow, also Luna will come at Legend, great, in Milan. Nice, nice to, to know. <laughs> and, um, aspetta, cos'era? No, no, there is not going to be any live stream from concerts, of course. I mean, we maybe could uh, make a live stream together, but not during the shows. I mean, we don't have the, the gear to actually stream the live shows. So, no, we can't do that. Mm -mm -mm. I will buy CD in Frankfurt at our merch. Yes, in Frankfurt. That's it. That's direct support. <laughs> so yes, Viking. If you buy our albums from our website, you are going to have them signed. Frozen. For sure. Yes, we are going to sign them. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, you know, basically every place you buy our CDs from is not helping us at all. I mean, the only way to directly support us is the link. But if you uh, watch this video in the description, there's the link where you can buy the actual CDs. And uh, yeah, that's it. Continuano a chiedere quando andiamo a suonare la mamma fanculo. Dai, dai, we hope to come to play in France, in Spain, in Latin America as soon as possible. Oh, Fred Barnes. Fred Barnes just gave the best rap ever. Fred Barnes, <laughs> you, you really deserve a, a, a hug from every one of us. I mean, if you want us to come and play in your country, be sure you have checked our music, shared our music on your social networks, I mean, a body album and do all that kind of stuff. Because if you didn't share our music on our social networks, it, you know, you're not helping us come and play in your country. So that's the most important thing. I mean, if the band sells albums in a specific country, is eventually going to go play there. So that's the, the reason, the, the way, you know, you can help us. So thanks, Fred Barnes, for explaining <laughs> that uh, in such a, a, a clever way. Oh, thank you, Cloud. Thank you very much, Claude. Excuse me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Because you think I'm a merda. Okay, right. Federico is complaining about his hair, so please give him a hug and uh, tell him. He doesn't have bad air date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. oh, okay. I share it at work. M my employer has two million people working for it. Yes, that's great. <laughs> okay, so um, did you guys already talk about uh, Black Heart? No? Uh, they told us that uh, they really like this uh, heavy, how can I say, heavy, heavy side of us. They really enjoyed the video. And uh, mm. yes, they are happy that uh, 
we uh, also put this uh, heavier and uh, evil uh, evil um, yeah evil so- looking sound looking, looking in uh, in the album that's what i got uh, correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> yeah 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 uh, got roses says fede you're be- you're handsome think about who doesn't have hair Yes, uh, <laughs> but I have too many, and uh, I don't don't like how they. I mean, it's like they, they they're really ugly. And then the lighting here is very bad. You should come closer, right? No, like if, an because angel. if I Whoa! come close like you, my <laughs> nose gets bigger. <laughs> So you should have asked me a bit of contouring before the live stream. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So are we a couple in real life or just partners? Are we? No. Yes, uh, but what's the difference? No in partners. Pa- it means colleagues or something like that. Yeah, no. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Make a top knot with your hair like samurais. Yes, why not? I will try. try. And uh, thank you, uh, all five members that have amazing hair. Thank you very much. And I think <laughs> that we took care, a lot of care about Niso's hair because, you know, in the first video, Far Beyond, um they were shorter than now. <laughs> and I remember that, uh, you know, we were... Uh, giving him some oil uh, to straighten them and uh, make them long. <laughs> and he hated me so much for this. <laughs> Guarda, questo sembra proprio un coglione. Ok, so do you know what coglione means? <laughs> Così sembra proprio un deficiente. Ok, so bad words and uh... swearing. <laughs> ok. So, why did I look so angry in the last video? Because sometimes I'm angry too, even if I'm always smiling and I'm cheerful and I'm drinking coffee, <laughs> sometimes I get mad. <laughs> and then I put all the stress I had on that video. <laughs> um, yeah, we have coffee in pre-order, but we are just, uh, we just have a very little 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 um in store stock, stock. yes yeah okay no we are not so romantic so we are not romantic <laughs> no 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 yeah uh, i mean maybe some long time fan knows already but uh, we are not going to... yeah this is a good question alistair blair Okay. They are shipping, of course, together with the new album. Because, of course, uh, the, the new album is going to come, uh, you know, by the end of February, I hope. Of course, remember that uh, there could be delays. You know, this is not a really, you know, awesome situation, you know, con- considering, you know, the, the war, you know, going and, uh, you know, we still have some backlash from the COVID uh, period. So, of course, we should have everything by the end of February. So we are about to ship them around the end of February. Okay? And so there was an interesting question. How did uh, we discover the other band members? How did we pick them up? Uh, so for what concerns Iki, you can reply. Iki is an old friend of mine. Uh, we know each other since a long time. So, you know, uh, he's a very serious professional, uh, a really nice friend. So the, the, how can I say, the eye immediately uh, fell on him for the role. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So, uh, for what concerns uh, Niso, and then the, the American people say Niso. Niso, like, like you. I say. Like you. Uh, it was uh, really just uh, in the band since uh, a lot of time. I mean, since he was like 15 or something. 
For what concerns Fabiola? Fabiola, uh, Fabiola. Let's say it properly because, because then foreign people, people say Fabiola. Yes, but if you don't correct them, they will. Uh, okay, okay. And okay, then okay, okay. it's also for them because if them come to a live sh a show on a gig for our gig and hi Fabiola, how are you? You know, Fabiola doesn't say anything because she is polite, but you know. <laughs> She's Fabiola. Fabiola. Uh, by the way, if uh, uh, I am, yeah, we met her. I mean, you have to understand that, except for Niso, everybody is living close to here. I mean, so while Iki was, of course, an old friend of her, Fabiola, we never met her in, in real life, but we always knew she existed because she used to play with other bands, you know, of the area. So, of course, we knew about her. We just contacted her um, through Facebook, and that's it. Uh, there was a question. Uh, what other instrument besides guitar can you play? Uh, I guess the piano and, uh, of course, the, the bass. And uh, that's it. I mean, maybe something about the flute. I don't know. Oh, yes. That was my instrument. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have plans to come to Japan? Uh, check our social pages in the next uh, week. Because we have plans to come to Japan. Let's see what kind of uh, announcement we make next week. <laughs> And the new single is very good. There will be more of this kind of sound in the new album, asks George. Eh? <laughs> ah! Eh, che ne so, secondo te? Yes. In my opinion, there, are, um, there is something else. I can undercover too much, but there is something else. Yeah, and heavier and evil and angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There are. Uh, new concert tour announcement next week, says Cloud Dallas. But we already have to depart from the actual tour. So, of course, we are not announcing um, other tours. I mean, <laughs> but, but yes, next week we're going to announce something interesting for the Japanese people. Yes. And oh, Viking, I first saw you in Strasbourg. Oh, thank you, Alex. Hi, Alex. Alex thank you very hi. much. Hope to see in Canada in the future. Hi, and Alex. Nocturna support would yeah. be great. We know, Alex. We, we know. Hi, Alex. Hi, thank you. And um, I, I would uh, like to tell uh, a small story about Strasbourg. Uh -huh. Could I? <laughs> I have so nice memories of that gig because, you know, <laughs> I caught a flu <laughs> or a cold or something like that. So uh, I, I had to go to, to take some medicines, some medications, some, something for uh, to free the nose. Not, I was not that bad, but, you know, it's better to have something. And I had a walk in the city and it's amazing. It's amazing. One of the cities I loved best in my whole life. <laughs> That's it. Uh, what do you think about the new era of power metal? I, I don't know anything about the new era of power metal. The new era of power metal. I can say something. May I? Uh, are you men mentioning uh, what I competitors? Told you to this morning um okay not competitors no <laughs> no today for the first time i i i listened to the um, to the latest stratovarius album because uh, it's one of the bands i i've grown with and they didn't have the time in the latest months and uh, it has been a surprise because you know when it first uh, started, it, it was sounding something like the, that riff on the first song, something like uh, In Flames. Anyway, I, I liked it very much. And uh, I like a lot um, many things that I, I heard on um, here and there. Uh, there are many interesting, 
interesting things uh, lately. What do you think? Great. So we talk about other <laughs> bands. Enough. Nice to see you, Mo. Hi. What you like the most is the vocal part of the single. Thank you. I also love the vocals in that single. I think Jade is singing, uh, I mean, it's reminding me of both uh, uh, Hansi from Blind Guardian and uh, somehow of Worldane from yes. uh, Sanctuary and Nevermore. And that's, uh, I love, I love it because, uh, you know, uh, they are two bands uh, that are in the top, uh, top three of my heart. So I do, I did all I could, you know, to, to give my best uh, through the inspiration uh, that I got from them. And uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy you enjoyed the, the vocal part of Black Heart because you know it's a quite a high, high toned part, and uh, I it was really funny for me to reach that heights, that levels, and to put all that energy on them. Uh, it has been quite a surprise, you know, for me that uh, in the end, the song that I felt from the inside like that could end up that energetic in my opinion and i hope you you agree with me and it's it's energetic <laughs> uh no marilyn we're going to announce it uh, later probably in the i suppose marilyn is um, mari i'm not sure about that but maybe um <laughs> Will the uh, new album go to darker paths? Probably yes, but probably Black Heart was the darkest part, no? Yes, I, yes, I don't yes, know. yes. I don't remember if there. No, there is something else a heavier. Maybe not in a moment. Dark. No. Uh, yes. Um, yes, and uh, in a moment, of course, and. Uh, so far away, far away. Ah, far away, far away. Far away. Uh, thank you, Michael Brainy. Alexi Pankin, who made Fericos Mask for I made it. I made the, that mask since uh, I am the tyrant. Hi, guys. Hi to all the people that join right now. Hi. 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 Uh, I Shield Maiden recommended uh, Phenomenal Music. Thank you so much. Thanks. We love the Shield Maiden. That's uh, always the ending song in our live shows. Do we have to play that uh, on our tour? Uh, Shield Maiden? Uh, yeah, as the of, ending song. Of course. Yeah, of, course of course. Of course. In my opinion, it's a must play Shield Maiden. Of course. What are the must-play songs, in your opinion? That uh, I'm, I'm really curious to know. I really would like to know what you, if you see us on tour, which is your, your dream. Uh, yeah, your dream set list. Set list. So write in the comments what is your dream set list uh, in the ideal Frozen Crown live show. I mean, the set list, full full set list. Full set list. Oh, Claude says, uh, my girlfriend loves Chasing Light. That's, uh, you know. Yeah, that's a song wrote by Jade, Yes, actually. yes, yes. Then with Federico, we gave it uh, a shape and arranged it and, uh, you know, added some precious uh, cherries uh, on the top of the cake. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of this comment. Thank you, Claude. Yeah. <laughs> No, write the set list uh, in the comments so we can discuss it right now, if you can. Yes, 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 yes. Um, about will you wear the tyrant mask on stage for some tracks? I was actually thinking about it, but I should make another one because that mask was not meant to be uh, used live. That was meant to be used in a video where you don't move a lot. So I should make another uh another mask to bring it live eventually so maybe i can do that are you johan borgia going to reach for us in in some um, in some live show <laughs> cosa 
Scusa. No, maybe I misunderstood what you were meaning. <ride> Ho detto che ne faccio un'altra perché... Mm. No, ma uh, joining... Uh, I imagined in him on stage with a mask, you know, making... A... Me? No, him. Ho capito. Scusa che sto vedendo una cosa, ma, ma tu... Cioè, non no, so... ok... <ride> Ma perché ho fatto? Ah, no, ho I'm losing line. track of the comments. Ok, perfect. Porca puttana, porca. What's the matter no, no, with no. you? <laughs> niente, niente. What's the matter with you? So, Kings, Fail No More, Victorious, I'm the Tyrant, Everwinter, Never Ending, In the Dark, Forever, Winterfall, for... you... He probably wrote uh, the entire set list we're going to play, except for some <laughs> songs, probably. <laughs> And the hardest, uh, hardest songs, too. <laughs> yeah, some of the hardest, but uh, yeah, probably we are going to, to play all of them, except probably for Winterfall, but because, you know, we love to play Winterfall, Uh, but it's too long as a song, so we can't really uh, play that every night because it would take away half of the set list, you know. <laughs> I mean, not half, but um, how often did the mask fall off while shooting the videos? Very good, never, never, because I didn't move myself a lot. But if I wore it on stage and I was moving, uh, that it would, it would fall off. It would fall off. Um, yes. No, you know, it's interesting. Uh, they loved very much uh, Blackheart, but they also ask for Angel in, Angels in Disguise, that in my opinion is one of the more, uh, how can I say, gracious songs we wrote. What about Angels in Disguise? Because it popped up in the comments uh, mm. several times so far. As they asking for angels in disguise. Yeah, we are not going to play it uh, during the tour, but we are playing it uh, in the first live show in Milano with Federica Lanna as a guest. So we are going to play that uh, for the first time in Milano mm -hmm. with Federica. And we are also going to have uh, Nocturna there, the Nocturna singers, to sing with us some songs like. Uh, i guess uh victorious i guess uh in the dark and stuff and a couple of other songs yeah forever. so it's going to be course, a very unique uh, yes. live show now yeah. if you have the chance to come to milan it would be uh, a great great show so i know that many of you i'm talking to the europeans come from anyway other countries but if you have the chance i really recommend because we are uh, preparing a lot of surprises for that show <laughs> across the sea we are going to play across the sea in milano of course and uh, we are going to see if we are playing it around um around the uh, Europe. No, I'm, uh, yes, 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 yes. Europe, probably. Yeah. She has in the new video. The hospital was leave a like, put a like. It's put a like. Put a like. <laughs> yeah. So blood on the snow. Yeah, blood on the snow. Hmm. It's a great song to play. It's, it's a song we're definitely <laughs> not going to play live. Mm. There was blood on the snow. I like it because I I sang it softly and spooky. Yeah, no, no, it's not weird. Old school nerd is part of the band, actually. <laughs> I mean, where the band ends, old school nerd starts. So, I mean, uh, we are also waiting for his reaction as well. Uh, Winterfall better than Blood on the Snow? Probably, I don't know. Maybe they are. No, oh, we maybe. are not uh, Hi Fi Alex. Uh, we are not going to have any featuring, uh, otherwise, we would have announced it yet. 
because we didn't want to to have featuring on this album because this album was meant to sound 100% Frozen Crown and that's it. What's set in Poland? Suggest the set you want to hear in Poland. And Unspoken is another song uh, which I contributed a lot on the song, on the writing of the yeah. vocal lines and stuff. And I really, uh, I really like to sing it a lot. I, it's, it's one of my favorite songs to sing. Um, but I think we played it just once. Yes. No, we didn't play. We never played it live. No, no. Once we played it. When? Uh, in in Japan, the first no, time. No, you're wrong. That was the, the only, only song we didn't play in Japan. I remember it wrong. Yeah, that was the only song. Is Water Dancer influenced by Game of Thrones? No, no. It's influenced <laughs> by a, a novel which features a, a girl that's called Arya Stark. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the Game of Thrones. <laughs> We, uh, eh? Oh, Cloud says that he is going to 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 have a daughter <laughs> around the eleventh of March, so he could not attend <laughs> the show. Anyway, send us a picture and tell us that everything yeah it went well. Went well. <laughs> um, call call of the north. You mean call of the north coffee? Uh, I don't, I don't know. It could be an idea. That could be an idea. Yes. Maybe a different flavor. I really enjoy making more simple and effective visualizers than regular produced video. Asked Louis Monteiro. I could say they are more quick and uh, easy to make. I don't know what you think about it. Um... It is. They are. Uh, everything you said is correct. Mm. But I also like nature and uh, and snow and mountains and trees. But I don't know. I like both the formulas. Mm. Open nature and also yeah. visualizer style. So. But we, we film the visualizer in open nature. Yes. I get DG. Yes, you're right. <laughs> but you know, it, it, it was more, uh, uh, how can I say, meno rocambolesco. No? Ah, meno rocambolesco. Si. It was less um, busy. I don't, I don't know. The... <laughs> oh, hi, Grace Darkling. Ciao, Grace Darkling. Ciao. Say hello to Grace Darkling. Ciao, Grace. So, uh, we were just saying that uh, in our Milan live show, we're going to have... Grace Darkling and Ransom Knight on stage with us to play some songs. So that's going to be a very unique situation. Um, they're going to sing uh, some songs with us. Uh, I mean, some Frozen Crown songs, uh, both old and new. So that's going to be uh, really a first timer. I really hope we can maybe film something with them and make maybe some video uh, Forever and Kings Marco Previtera o Previtera ti dico uh, I'm, I'm telling you already that uh, Grace Darkling and Rest in Light are indeed going to sing with us forever so uh, that's going to be the second time ever we play forever first time it was in Japan yes and uh, yeah, we're going to sing that uh, with uh, the Nocturna singers. So that, that's going to be a one of a kind event. And yes, Kings, we're, 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 um, I mean, we're always playing Kings. Congrats for the new song. I love it. As I've already said, I think it's my top three by President Grant. Grazie, Greta. Grazie. Grazie. Thank you very much. Ah, Previtera, Previtera. Previtera. Previtera, o Previtera. <laughs> Previtera. See, we're going to play Forever and uh, a couple of other songs together with Nocturna. But at the same time, Nocturna 
uh, the Nocturna Singers are also going to perform a really exclusive uh, acoustic live show. Yes, Metal Person J. It needs uh, a lot of singers. And uh, by the way, all our songs, even the ones that are that uh, seem to have very few vocals, actually have got no. a lot of voices inside. I don't know if you are a singer, maybe also a hobby singer, but try to sing three minutes and a half all by yourself. <laughs> that one part after the other, from the beginning to the end. <laughs> That's... No. And That's a, 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 a no, great she's song. trying to tell that, uh, of course, the layers when you record the album are, you know, there are a lot of layers. Yes. there. So even if you listen, for example, to a Nocturna song, which is uh, uh, apparently only featuring uh, two voices, that's actually going to feature, I mean, more than just two voices, you know, because, uh, of course, they are going to play the medium one. The lower harmonization, the higher harmonization. There are a lot of voices. Yes. Yeah. There are a lot of voices, and uh, you know, in that kind of uh, quite symphonic part, uh, the more you put, the more it sounds epic, in my opinion. So uh, it's one of our favorite songs too, and uh, we want to give it all the best. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. No, no, I was just searching. You're making for, fun of me. For a turn. As usual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, grazie Marco per la donazione di 10 grazie, euro. Grazie Marco. <laughs> grazie mille, grazie. Oh. They want Christmas song, but Christmas is over. <laughs> How do you train your voice before the show? Usually I warm up uh, around 30 minutes, you know, or even less because you don't, don't have to, to exaggerate because then you get tired. <laughs> okay. Allora. Will you do a vlog for European tour? Could be an idea. Okay. I don't speak Spanish, so no high fetches in España. <laughs> I don't understand what it means. Okay. I'm checking all the all the comments. Cristo in croce mi, mi fa, fa pubblicare, pubblicare metà dei messaggi. <ride> so this is aspetta, Grace. Aspetta, Greta, aspetta, aspetta, la risolvo io. Aggiungiamo Greta un moderatore come moderatore. So, welcome Grace Darkling as a mod of this chat, so she can probably from now on ban you guys and <ride> uh, and uh, and write more frequently. Oh, Federico, I have a question for you. Bands you like that are not metal bands? Not metal bands. Uh, I like Placebo, which is my favorite uh, non-metal band. Mm. I like Red Hot Chili Peppers very much. So, welcome Grace Darkling. Greta mm -hmm. adesso è blu e può bannare tutti e se non sbaglio dovresti poter scrivere più di più facci sapere se puoi scrivere più oppure se Cristo è ancora in croce <laughs> and uh, yeah Placebo, Red Hot Chili Peppers and uh, I love some you know Italian uh, songwriters stuff like that and of course oh Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds that's one of my favorite bands uh Ok, te lo fa fare. Adesso hai il potere. So Grace Darkling now has the power. Oh, Federico, another interesting question. What are your favorite movies? Movies, <laughs> movies. Um, uh, no, inizia tu, dai. So, 
One of my favorite movies, of course, is The Prestige. And um, I love all the Lord of the Rings movies, but I always, uh, you know, want to say that I read the book before I even knew they were shooting a movie. So a lot of time before the movie, a lot of time, at least one year. <laughs> okay. And then I really love... I have to think about it. Uh, I don't know. My favorite movies are all, are all you know, boring movies, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I love Christopher Nolan. I love the Batman movies, uh, but I Inception. also love the, I love the Prestige, of course. Uh, favorite writers uh, for me... I mean, most of them are Italian. I like Daniele Luttazzi, Pierpaolo Pasolini. Um, I don't know. I like Nicolò Ammaniti. Uh, a lot of Italian writers. And also a lot of Italian movies. I like movies by Nanni Moretti, which is a, an Italian um, director. Elio Petri, which is another Italian director. And I go from Tolkien to Dan Brown. <laughs> I confess, I read almost all the books of Dan Brown. Allora, come avete scelto il nome Frozen Crown? Translate. How, How did you choose the Frozen Crown name? So, uh, this is very funny because when people saw Jade with the makeup in Blackheart, everybody starts saying, oh, uh, you look like um, that singer, that Black Matter singer. And uh, someone started saying, um, look like the Tom G. Warrior from Celtic Frost. When we started this band, we wanted a name that could be, um, uh, you know, similar to something between Celtic Frost, Ice Earth, and stuff like that. So um, we wanted something frosty, something that could uh, evoke uh, northern stuff. So Frozen Crown, you know, was like, you know, Frozen Throne, Frozen Crown, Frozen Sword, stuff like that, Eyes Zord, stuff like that. And um, and um, yeah, that's it. So it, it, we just wanted uh, a name that had two words, two words, because Iron Maiden, Ice Earth, Blind Guardian, Celtic Frost, and that's it. We wanted to evoke that kind of uh, suggestion. Um, Yeah, I, I love the, the reply that Grace uh, gave to Metal Person J. Nocturna is more symphonic. Yeah, most importantly, it's gothic. Definitely gothic. Um, and the, the other difference is that uh, Nocturna Singer has the blue name in, uh, in the chat. So that's, that's a great difference. <laughs> um, yeah, I love the Warcraft 3, actually, yes. In fact, uh, Ice Crown was uh, and Frostmore were some other inspirations back there. No, I never read any Moorcock. Uh, Moorcock Sword, Sword and Sorcery. Sorcery. Yeah, but but actually, uh, you mentioned Sword should. and Sorcery, and actually, um, Conan the Barbarian is one of my favorite movies, uh, and uh, also the novels and also the comics uh, of uh, all that kind of uh, environment are amongst my favorite. Yes, and uh, Basil Poleduris. Do you know Basil Poleduris? No. <laughs> It, Basil Poleduris is the one that made the, uh, the Conan the Barbarian soundtrack, which was... Uh, <laughs> and then the part... Uh, <laughs> that's the, the thing that actually got me inspired to write Call of the North. But the part na 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 sí. that's actually stolen from the Conan the Barbarian soundtrack written by Basis Poleduris, which is a Greek guy. No, Greta, secondo me Crypto Rider vuole solo fare il troll, diciamo. Secondo me 
sta solo dicendo cazzate uh, yeah ice dirt ice dirt um Do you like Italian 80s sword and sorcery movies? I yeah. think so, and we watched the something together. Too. I love, I love them. Yes, definitely. Uh, it's great for Northern Tales of Music. Yes, 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 yes. We love that. Uh, oh, by the way, by the way, uh, the, <laughs> uh, the reason why Blackheart was born is because of our label manager, Filippo. I need to show you a picture of Filippo because <laughs> it's funny. I mean, uh, I remember I was uh, about to go in the... Um, no, I was uh, at the Scarlet Records... Uh, um, how can I say that? Headquarter. And I show him uh, the... Yeah, Grande Filippone. I was, uh, I was talking with him... Uh, and showing him, yeah, you can see here a picture of him with Ozzy. This guy is the Scarlet Records label manager. So I was in Scarlet Records headquarters and made him uh, listen to the demos of uh, Call of the North, of uh, um, probably Legion and other songs from the new album. And he was like, yeah, these are cool, but... Can you write a song like this? And he put on the Jugulator album from um, Judas Priest, of course, which is his favorite album uh, by Judas Priest, the one with the, the Ripper, Owens, mm -hmm. and uh, put on the song Dead, Dead Meat, which is the one with the dog uh, growling at the beginning. And he was like, yeah, but can you write a song like this? And I listened to that song and I said, yeah, and I said, yes, si greta. Praticamente lui mi ha detto, ma, ah, uè, ma riesci a scrivere una canzone come questa? Eh, così ignorante? E, e io gli ho detto, ho detto, ma sì, una canzone ignorante, certo che te la so scrivere, no? E lui, ah, va bene, vediamo. E io ho preso il cellulare e ho registrato, ho scritto, I registrato, I wrote the basically I wrote the song singing it on the cell phone for the first time because the the, the label manager actually uh, teased me uh, because he said I wasn't able to write an ignorant song. So I would say that worked, you know, because it's also the, 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 the you know the, the Greta's favorite song, Ray's favorite song. So I mean, it's something, it's something. Va bene, Greta, le facciamo di più, va bene, va bene, va bene. E nel, nel prossimo... evil inside. Sì, and in the next album, of course, we're going to have Grace Darkling uh, singing with us on the album, of course. Because as we said, uh, in, on this album, we weren't planning on having uh, a featuring of any kind. But of course, in the next album, Greta si è ufficialmente invitata sul nostro prossimo album. And, uh, but not Blackheart, but, um, aside from Blackheart, I can say... The way you're singing on that song, to me, is similar to... Oh! Oh, when the moon is shining... Ah, sì! Come cazzo? Guardian! Come si chiama? Hey, hey, the first time what is that time what is time time what is time that's the that's the the, um, the first song in um, somewhere far beyond i think so yeah and, and what's going on i i i was singing it in my mind until the the chorus yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. five minutes it would take me to <laughs> to have the title mm. Mm. you know what <laughs> the really funny thing is that Grace Darkling is, I mean, probably she has half my age. I mean, she's, she's like a, a much younger than me, but her idols are pretty much 
the same. The same of mine, except for Attila from Power World, but, but just because I'm too old for that. Because, uh, I mean, uh, Power Wolf are a new band. So for to me, they are quite unknown. So I would... I would switch that with Gary Moore, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but yeah, they are pretty much the same. Oh, may I reply to this? Quale? Questo, dove eh, ho sì, dito? Eh, sì. Ok, so Fafnir Sbain. Uh, Jada, you were able to stay notes so long, uh, etc. I have to confess that I am quite lucky because, uh, you know, it's something natural. Of course, you improve by making the breathing exercises, exercises and diaphragm, etc. But, you know, I, I have it since I was very young because I remember when I first recorded... Uh, The, the, the first time I went to a recording studio for some um, choirs, yes, they uh, always wanted to put me uh, a couple of steps beyond the, the other singers because I was too powerful and too heavy. <laughs> so, yes, I, I have to say that. You improve it, but uh, I, I have it since the beginning. Guarda che capelli di merda che c'ho! Guarda che capelli di merda che c'ho! Guarda, guarda che capelli di merda! Guarda! I, yeah, but I am... I mean, I'm not that old. But Grace, to me, I mean, I think she's very young. If you ask me. So I want to ask Freddy Ilkes, Giada, how did they conquer you? What do you mean? <laughs> Okay, that's for Grace, I think. No, maybe mm. for you. Which one is the song together? I did with with Volturia. Those bands make some interesting. Yes, of course. You know, my dream would be to actually have, uh, of course, Grace, Ren, and Jay together in the same video, and of course to also have the privilege to sing myself with them, of course. Uh, so in a in a, a single song, but of course I don't know if uh, uh, that's going to happen in the Nocturna album. I mean, I, I should. I mean, we should talk with the with the Nocturna girls and see because of course you know Nocturna is a is a young band and of course they really 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 need to push in this moment and to demonstrate what they can do. You know, so. Uh, How many years are you partnered with uh, Neplum Records? Never. Gianna, may you can sing with Cristina Scabia. <laughs> no, but uh, Alex, I, I am actually young. I mean, I'm not, I'm not old. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not in my 20s. I'm older than that. Anyway, I want to answer to Andrea Carli. At the end of the concert, do you prefer one drink, mm. one drink or free, uh, free, come si dice in inglese? Free um, chocolate bar. Chocolate bars. I love chocolate very much. I would eat it uh, every time except at the end of the concert. A good, refreshing drink because after the concert, you know. You have to chill out uh, with all the people coming, so better thing is to have a drink together. So thank you very much. <laughs> I'm waiting for you at the end. Uh, any news about Volturian? Yes, they're going to play with us uh, in the live show we were mentioning before with Nocturna. So next appointment right now are from the, from the family, from the whole family are February 24th in uh, Bergamo, right? Bergamo. Yes. Druso with Nocturna and another Scarlet Records band, which is Deathless Legacy. And then we are going to play uh, March 10 with Frozen Crown in Milan. And uh, there, they're going to be Volturian, 
Federica, which is going to sing with us, Angels in Disguise live, and of course, Grace and Rand are going to play an exclusive acoustic show, and then they're going to jump on stage with us. We're going to play classic Frozen Crown songs, new Frozen Crown songs, and also a very popular cover song. So, and that's going to be funny. Oh, and I was forgetting about the Nocturna Spanish tour. So, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to link that mm -hmm. because Nocturna, yeah. No, Mondelli. No. March 11. Grace. <laughs> no, Mondelli Fest. No, 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 no. No. And by the way, the, 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 the funny question, yeah. Federico, do you have any exercises for a finger before playing in its show? Yes. I play an opening show with another band before, which is exactly what, what I'm going to do uh, March 11. Yeah. Uh, so do the songs you wrote that didn't fit on the album stay for the next album? Or do you forget about them and create completely new ones? Yes, yes, they stay. And the really funny thing is that I was writing uh, a Be The Wolf album, I think, four years ago or something and i came out with a melody which was and i was no this is uh, not very bit of sounding and i stored that on my computer and uh that song later on became a nocturna song because uh, just you know I, I found it was perfect actually and uh, that song, it, I mean, uh, was, how can I say? Uh, it was not supposed to be, uh, I mean, Sea of Fire was not supposed to necessarily be a song in the Daughters of the Night album. But instead, it was meant to be more of a demo song, just to send it to Grace and Ren so they could sing and see how we could, you know, know each other. But then... I, if, I'm, if I'm not wrong, I don't know, Greta, non mi ricordo se a voi vi è piaciuta la canzone, l'abbiamo tenuta, non l'abbiamo tenuta, non mi ricordo. Comunque, anyway, that song was not meant to be there. And uh, this is uh, also the same with To Infinity. Yes. Because uh, that was the demo song for Jay to, to join Frozen Crown. And uh, that was not necessarily meant to be a song that was going to end up on the albums. Oh, so Claude, I think he posted the, the Nocturna Geeks. Yeah, thank you, Claude Dallas. Those are the Nocturna Geeks. Thanks. I could almost uh, make you a mod. Fammi vedere qua. Posso vedere un attimo qua. Met fan voices just trying to manage to join in, in Milan. Let us know. <laughs> Grace mm. says we loved it at the first listen. Yes, you're fired. And, and uh, a really funny thing, which is, you know, these are the, the really funny things that happen during, uh, you know, songwriting, uh, recording albums. That song is actually called the Sea of Fire because in the lyrics there was this line say, saying Sea of Fire. It was like, na, 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 Sea of Fire. And it, it stays. But then, no, then we uh, cut that, but the title remains Sea of Fire. But it's, it, it's not the featuring the, the line Sea of Fire. I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> because it was so. Uh, thank you, Lopez, Valentin, Oscar, Alan. You have a lot of names. Thanks a lot. Uh, hi, and uh, bell, ring the bell, all. Brandon Wayne Lewis. So, what are, have we answered some question? Maybe. Ah, lui è Monteiro. No, no. I, so, Federico, you've released nine albums in the past five years. Are you going to engage in another project or take a breath after Call of the North? No, I am not. He doesn't need to breathe. 
no, 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 no. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm officially not starting any other project from now on because the work, I mean, the, 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 the busyness that, uh, busyness, 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 the amount of work, yeah, the amount of work coming from uh, the, the three band combined, actually four it's really uh, too much. And right now I would really like to focus on the new Nocturna album. And uh, no, I'm not going to start any other project, of course. Just trying to manage in Milano, gig me back to Frankfurt the day after. Yes, that would be awesome. Um, Greta, facci la domanda su Blackheart. Oh, this is interesting. I am I'm itching to answer the, the gig we went on uh, Friday. <laughs> on Friday? Yes. <laughs> Can I say it? So on Friday, our latest metal gig, we, we, we went to, to attend a show from the uh, Icky's Acoustic Band. <laughs> Great. They they make uh, metal covers in acoustic way. So we had a lot of fun. Ottimo. Uh, I'm replying to the Grace Darkling uh, question, which is why the tyrant is back. Well, that's ha that has to do with the fact that we wanted to have the tyrant to be there in every single album. In fact, if you See, if you read the lyrics of every song in each album, you are going to find a reference to the tyrant. In our second album, Crowned in Frost, uh, there's the tyrant mentioned. And uh, on the third album, Blood on the Snow, there's the tyrant mentioned. But I regretted not making a video for Blood on the Snow. Because uh, I would have really loved to make a video for Blood on the Snow. And of course, to sing with the tyrant mask. So I was too angry about that. We, we really missed the chance to use the Tyrant mask again. That this time, this time, I really wanted to make a video with the Tyrant mask and to bring the Tyrant. Because we have this tradition, you know, cioè su ogni disco you know, c'è una canzone in cui c'è il Tyrant che parla in prima persona, tra l'altro. Mm. E dice, tra l'altro, cose vere che io penso della realtà, tipo che odio le persone, queste cose qua. Say it in English. I hate people. I need glasses. Um, uh, old school nerd premieres. Um, yeah, Black Heart. Yes. So we should check uh, old school nerd or not. I don't know. Manage it. <laughs> Mm. If you want to try. There are a lot of Easter eggs uh, on uh, Frozen Crown albums. Uh, and uh, yeah, exactly what I was talking about. I mean, uh, it tells a, tells a story about this tyrant character. And the reason is the following. So when I started Frozen Crown, I, I proposed Frozen Crown uh, as a project to the Japanese label. The Japanese label wanted to sell Frozen Crown to my band's fans. So they were expecting me to be the lead singer, to be the frontman. But later on, I wanted her to sing. You know, I wanted to have a singer. I wanted to, to be the backing vocalist and stay aside. But the Japanese were like, no, no, no. People are going to hate her. People are not going to like her. Japanese people are, are going to not like this thing because you are the, the front man. You should be the front man. And I was like, okay, I will try to tell Japanese people a story. Yes, Nocturna is an awesome band. Awesome band. You should check Nocturna out. So I, was, uh, I thought about a story where I was the king and uh, I had my crown stolen by someone, which was her. So that's the reason why on the Fallen King cover, there's this guy on the floor without a crown. And there's uh, a girl actually stealing his crown, you know. 
I made that fancy because they were in the mood that I was telling a story where I was a fallen king, uh, I mean, having his crown removed, and they were happy with that. So that's the reason why there's this tyrant. And uh, the funny thing is that uh, I Am the Tyrant, the song, uh, ended up being one of those songs that I actually sung, but when Frozen Crown were coming, uh, Jade was, of course, the, the face of the band. So I was afraid that, you know, a band at the start should have always the same image. Otherwise, people are going to not recognize that. You know, the band should be recognizable or with her face. So I thought about the mask. If I make a mask, I hide myself. I'm not going to be the singer. I'm going to feature as a guest. And she is still going to be the front girl. And that's why the Tyrant mask was born, actually. Uh, if you were to Regina Sergan to come in January to the... Ah, guarda, se veniamo in Canada, ci saremo anche... A accurati a non venire quando dici tu grazie minus 50, Guarda, sicuramente minus 50 sarà... celsius degrees hard <laughs> sarà sicuramente così scorpions no Judas Priest but I already say scorpions Judas Priest scorpions <laughs> no, Deep Purple I, 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 I sang and played a lot of Deep Purple songs when I was uh, uh, a teenager when I, st I studied guitar and I had a all-female cover band when I was 17, 18. And, you know, when you go to the teachers, guitar teachers, usually they start <laughs> by teaching you those kind of songs. So we were all Black Knight na, 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 and stuff, Smoke on the Water. I, I, I love them. <laughs> uh, wait, Fred Barnes. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a good question, but uh, I actually express myself bad. Of course, they are aware that some Japanese female fronted band exists and they work actually. The real problem was that I was already known in Japan. So they didn't want people to see me, uh, to, to, to leave my front, front man place because that was my my place before with my previous band be the wolf you know so that's the reason why i actually um suggested them that and that's the reason why they said the band is not going to work not because it was a female fronted band but because i was uh put aside and not being the front man anymore a marzo a milano oscar vecchi l'11 marzo a milano l'11 marzo a milano siamo lì Grazie Paolo! Grazie Paolo! Ci vediamo l'11 marzo a Legend. Sì. E ci beviamo una cosa. <laughs> we are ready, Crypt Rider. We are ready recorded uh, Nightcrawler from Judas Priest uh, Masterpiece Painkiller. The mask is made from a very secret material. Uh, the reason why I make those masks is that... Uh, the, the place where I come from is in the southern Italy has got a really uh, huge carnival tradition. And uh, since I was a kid, I used to work uh, on masks uh, and costumes and stuff like that. So that's something I developed during my childhood. And then uh, when I was uh, a teenager, I mean, high school period, I was into custom action figure custom action figure i don't know if you are aware of that it's a very uh, niche how can i say niche Come si dice? In che cosa in niche, yeah. it's a very peculiar uh, hobby it consists in creating uh, custom action figures from uh, classic action figures from the 80s and there i uh, developed some uh, painting techniques like dry brush and uh, stuff like that you know that are very useful to to make that kind of masks. Um, yes, the masks transformed me in a green funny person when I put it. We hope uh, Milan, Milan, because it's our label manager. Uh, manager. 
team, football team. team. Yeah. I'm really into football a lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Roy Axness, I listened to metal since I was, uh, I think, uh, 19. Then I stopped listening to metal completely. Uh, just listened to Nevermore and In Flames new albums since then. And I only listen to other things. Uh, no, the actual American fan base is huge. The problem is that America is very big. So, of course, we have uh, a lot of fans, but very spread around. And, uh, yeah, the costs are too high. Oh, Jade, have you had more dental patients because of your exposure in Frozen Crown? <laughs> no, because uh, the average age of my patient is around nine years old. So, you know, <laughs> we are not their target <laughs> yet. <laughs> so, the truth is says grace it that you federico listen to trap i listen to trap and hip-hop i love uh, italian artists like uh, i used to listen to achille lauro before he went to sanremo and then uh, he started making um i don't know i don't i don't like the style um i like uh, tedua i like uh, gue pequeño which is actually not uh, trap but hip-hop i know all the songs Uh, my heart. I mean, le so tutta memoria. I like Caparezza a lot. Caparezza is an Italian rapper <laughs> who had this voice uh, like, you know, the first Eminem, maybe. Uh, Eminem, non so come si pronuncia. Voice from the nose. M in M. Ah, M in M. <laughs> oh. Jay, do you sing to your patients? No. <laughs> no. Maybe. Sfere Basta mi piaceva quando faceva, vabbè, quando ha fatto Cavallini con la Darpolo Gang, quando ha fatto, mi piaceva in generale Sfere Basta, ma anche lui, poi dopo a un certo punto è diventato troppo, non mi è piaciuto più, quando ha iniziato a fare le cose a reggaeton non mi è piaciuto più, però all'inizio mi piaceva eh, Brutti Sogni, ti ricordi Brutti Sogni? Figurati. Come no, Madonna, one of my favorite. Cioè, gli, gli esordi, Sfere Basta, è piaciuto moltissimo. È piaciuto moltissimo anche Gali, quando faceva, mh, quando faceva per esempio, Dende, quando faceva... Dende. Anche fa, quando ha fatto Willy Willy, lì, insomma, quel periodo lì mi piacevano tutti quando erano prima. Poi dopo si sono messi a fare cose un po' troppo reggaeton, troppo così. E gli unici che possono fare reggaeton sono i Nero War, praticamente. Mm. Mentre i trapper che fanno reggaeton fanno schifo. <ride> So, go to check uh, the Caparezza song Argenti, which is metal. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, there's God Lord here. Hi, God Hi, Lord. God Lord. I am still pissed about the everyone situation on the Discord. So, really... Uh... So, uh, Luis Monteiro, may I answer to him? You know, in Italy, um, metal, it's not that exposed like um, in other countries in Europe, maybe in Germany or, of course, in Scandinavia. So, you know, even if it was, uh, I don't know, James Setfield himself may have been dentist, people wouldn't know. <laughs> You know, we are not lucky here in Italy for 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 the metal, no, Federico? Okay. Uh, no, 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 scusami, non... Uh... No, no, nothing, nothing. And so... Comunque, il must della trap in Italia è stato Maruego quando ha fatto Cioccolata mm -hmm. con uno dei miei artisti preferiti che è Caneda. Un, ori un, oh, membro originario, like bra un membro originario della Dogo Gang. Eh? Era bellissimo. Cioccolata, dovete sentire. Guys, listen to Cioccolata by Maruego featuring Caneda. It's really the best song uh, ever written. 
No, I have to answer to Roy Agnes. Uh, it's funny and interesting. You don't listen to metal anymore. No, I do listen to metal yet. <laughs> you know, I have some guilty pleasures. No, she is very. No, no, no. I'm, I'm true. No, no, no. She, she. Uh, so Roy, she is uh, a metalhead. True. I mean. The, the most classic uh, metalhead doing pictures with, with the horns, uh, stuff like that, drinking beers, she's like that. I'm more into, you know, Americano, having, uh, you know, listening to Guepequeño, you know. I, I'm more into that. But I, I can assure you, I know by heart uh, thousands of metal songs. I mean, I listen to those albums... Uh, really a lot of time thousands of time and it was like uh, i was uh, i was uh, filled with all that metal and i had to search something else to write songs because if you only listen to metal uh you are eventually going to write all the same songs so uh, i listen to a lot of stuff for example for me kiss the band kiss is uh, really uh it was really um crucial to actually um not only get into rock and roll and metal but also to understand that music can also be uh something more come si può dire more um i mean they can go wider than just rock and metal and uh you know there are songs from kiss that of course could be classified as pop songs but there's no such thing as pop to me because for example if you listen to a very classic song if you listen to beat it by michael jackson that's one of the the greatest uh, one of the greatest uh, yeah greatest metal song to me but, but that that's something I, I don't know to explain that for example I, i'm a big listener of uh, george michael that's that's true i mean i'm not joking is one of my favorite artists ever and i when i'm writing metal songs uh, i'm always uh, often not always but often using his structures his uh, logic to actually compose music i mean if i only was into metal i wouldn't write metal songs you know that's that may sound uh, strange but it's like that Andiamo al meet and greet, ma di, di cosa? Aspetta. No, I lost a lot of comments. I'm trying to keep trace of everything, but please, if you want your question to be answered, please write it again, because it went away. <laughs> ah, for example, I saw, I saw, eh. one of the recent bands I love yes. is Rise of the North Star. And those are really influenced by hip hop, but also from uh, from uh, thrash metal, also from bands like Biohazard, like um, but, oh, oh, you know hardcore band, Hatebreed, stuff like that. That's definitely far from my listening. Lo so lo I, so. I cannot help you. I, but I... you liked uh, Pantera? Mm, not so much. No. <laughs> I liked some songs uh, of Pantera very, very much, but not that many. I really loved the guitar and uh, I loved the idea, but in the end, they have never been my first band, the first band in my heart. Okay, okay. But you have the dime uh, back the rest. Yes. Guitar, yeah. Yes, that's... Uh, Kernan Andrews, George Michael, yes, uh, Nick Cave, you know... Uh, I formed my band Be The Wolf, which actually um, started everything because I listened to one song from Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, which, which is called uh, The Curse of Mill Haven. Do you know that song? Do you know that song? No. no. <laughs> it's a, a ballad. That's really awesome. And uh, The Curse of Mill Heaven was really the song that made me uh, want to start a band. Okay. No, no, niente. I was... Uh, I, I'm having fun. But... 
Anyway, uh, yes, aside from Evermore, Blank Guardian, and the great classics, I, I love uh, a lot of... Uh, I, I've always listened to a lot of female-fronted bands, and, uh, you know, I followed Florian since her beginning in After Forever and stuff like that. So that's mainly what I listen to. Uh, very people that sings very high and powerful, <laughs> but also Warrell Dane. In fact, the, the, the guy asking, Yes, 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 yes. I, oh, I just more. mentioned mm -hmm. them, uh, yeah. Uh, reggaeton music, there's only one kind of reggaeton music, and it's Norwegian reggaeton. Uh, Cloud Dallas, you're referring to two videos which are. 18 and Life by Skid Row, of course, and uh, a George Michael song called Amazing. Ma amazing. No, Greta, non andare su Discord perché tanto ci perdi solo tempo. Guarda, proprio una cosa veramente in casino. Ah, to infinity, to infinity. Mm. Ask Grace and uh, and Jade <laughs> if, if they want to. No, you know, that. we would like to play everything. everything. The problem is that we should have a four hours set. <laughs> That's it. We will kick away all the bands before us. <laughs> yeah. And uh, do you like Ulver? I love Ulver. And uh, yeah, okay. I wanted to get there. Garm, the Ulver singer, is actually amongst my main influences in metal, together with, uh, of course, X Vortex. So I'm a lot into that kind of music, like, uh, you know, Arturus, um, Borknagar, and also Ulver, yes. Um... No, Nicola Provenzano, non è successo niente con Discord. Semplicemente dicevo a Greta che, che tanto non... A featuring during our acoustic concert. Which song do we want to make a featuring about? Punk bands, to me, there's only one punk bands which is called no fx that's it raquel miranda we love that we would love to be interviewed by you do you like any punk band mm, i no? you know the the i i just uh, listened to a full album in my life that was i think dookie from green day I heard something from Misfits. I, I, I liked it, but I, I'm really scared of their image and appearance because they are going naked and uh, and all uh, painted, painted no? and like skulls. They, how can I say? Mi fanno impressione. They, they unsettle you. Yes. So it works on me. I'm scared. Mm, victorious with grace should be amazing yes we're going to see Greta pensiamoci adesso ci vediamo ne, ne parliamo assolutamente certamente Greta va bene Greta mettiti il cuore in pace che si lavora <laughs> faremo le vabbè uh it's the shield maiden is very uh strange because um it's uh, one of the i mean it's the first single but it doesn't have an official video it's a very long song uh but still it remains the favorite song uh, um overall to be played live by people everybody wants to listen to the shield maiden so if we didn't play the Shield Maiden as the ending song, people would be unhappy. <laughs> so everybody loves the Shield Maiden. I don't know why. Me too. Yeah, Me yeah. Too but I love it too favorite. as well. I love it as well. But uh, yeah. What advice would you give to a starting band? Uh, uh, the advice I could give to you is to 
listen to a lot of music and also to music you uh, that that's very far from what you're going to play. I mean, if you like to play thrash metal, for example, if you only listen to thrash metal bands, you're going to play shitty music. If you listen to everything from funky, from uh, you know all kind of music, and then you go playing thrash metal, you're going to make the best music ever. That's the reason why Cliff Barton, for example, was such a, a great musician, you know, because uh, his influence in Metallica came from a lot of genres, a lot of uh, musical styles, you know, I, am I correct? Yes. Yeah. I, I, may, I may say, I mean, I'm not a big Pantera fan. I actually, I, I'm, I mean, I've never went crazy for Pantera, but what I can listen to, If I, if I listen to Pantera, it's that Dimebag Darrell definitely had some sort of country music influences, of southern rock influences. That's it, blues, jazz. Of course, he was a big uh, Kiss fan. He had um, Ace Frehley tattoo, and he was uh, buried in, um, in a Kiss coffin, if I'm not wrong. So he listened to a lot of music that were, was very different from Pantera, but yet he made Pantera that, that, that were very unique. So that's the, the secret. Mm -mm -mm. Your top three Frozen Crown songs, chiede Greta. Ah, ok, allora aspetta. Le cose eh, no, perché it was written uh, a couple of comments uh, after. So... Crown Eternal, mm. of course. The Shield Maiden in the Dark, I think. Mm. Uh, to me, it's uh, uh, it's uh, Crowned in Frost, the song, not the album. Blood on the Snow. And... Uh, mm, i, I um, non lo so, sono in difficoltà, ne dico due. I'm not mentioning new songs because the new album Yeah, I'm not mentioning new songs. Yeah, 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 we're not mentioning new songs. Yeah, Alex Kolnick, for example. Alex Kolnick is the guy that has got his hair, very similar to Jack Draven, which is a, a friend of us and a friend of Gray's as well. The guy with the white hair from the, from the band all that hair in the scarlet records as well i'm always finding a way to advertise scarlet records of course uh alex colney is a, is a great jazz player and also niso is a a jazz player uh prog player as well this is interesting Is there an email? Uh, yes, uh, we are implementing the newsletter on our website. Uh, in the meantime, drop us an email on frozencrownofficial.gmail. Drop us an email here, uh, writing like, uh, hi guys, uh, I'm the newsletter guy and uh, we will add you as soon as the newsletter is ready. Check out our official store, frozencrown.net. So, may I answer to this? See, si, Giada? Uh, from Luis. Uh, what do you think about the urban legend that says that you are Nocturnes Antares? <laughs> no, I... It's urban legend. Urban legend. I, I saw some memes and stuff and I get <laughs> why they think of this. You know, I would really love to have the time <laughs> to do also, also that. And it would be a pleasure for me, you know, to share more time with my friends, Grace and Ren. And that's it. I But unfortunately, one... you aren't, so you no, have to stay I, home. No, yeah. home. I have to I do mean, a lot so... of things that I don't even stay at home. <laughs> yeah, to be a you dentist. Know. <laughs> Thank you, Cloud. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, our shows uh, are, got, you know, when we are on tour, uh, especially abroad, 
We are always bringing some scenery, like we have two banners, the war banners you can see in the I'm the Tyrant video. We're going to have uh, some uh, scenery and stuff like that. And of course, uh, lights. Yes, light effects are always cool. <laughs> Answer to him. <laughs> oh, hi. My order on exclusivity before to thank me for this program. Yes, if it's as soon as it's ready, we are going to send it to you. Yes, of course, we love you. Um, yeah, the gladiator fight at the Colosseum is very awesome, a very awesome scene. So, why enjoy the struggles? Asks about salary. I, I lost this <laughs> where this conversation started. Salary, yes. It's good. Uh, you can put it in the salad or use it for celery. Uh, is uh, it's nice. It's or, nice. Yes, why not? Or uh, pinky money. I really liked it. it. It's when you cut fresh uh, carrot, fresh celery, fresh uh, pepper, yellow pepper. Yes. And what else? Oh, fennel. And uh, you uh, make uh, you mix uh, uh, olive oil and. Um, Aceto, come si dice? Vinegar. Vi vinegar. 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 Come cazzo. You mix together and then you take all these uh, sticks that you cut, pre-cut from carrots and celery and stuff, and you eat it while drinking white wine. Amazing. <laughs> and then... Uh, Ma non ho messo la storia, for Fresh roasted metal... What you are t t talking about food? I'm going to be hungry, eh? <laughs> and I'm losing all the comments because they are going up. Celery is great for a Bloody Mary, yes, I agree. And then love, there is stuff for you, Federico. Mm, Come, a lot of questions. So allora, uh, this one, maybe this one. Well, first of all, let's uh, talk with uh, with Grace Darkling, which is talking about bands we 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 are friends with. So Jack Treven was mentioned because Alex Skolnick in Testament has got similar hair to him. But that's because he's old, not because he actually died then. Um, I will go to Colombia in March. Do you want me to bring you the best coffee ever, Jade? Yes, bring her some coffee. Please. Ma che devo rispondere? Where are you coming? Sempre la solita domanda è cazzo. Are Niso Shina ever going to come with you where you mean on with you maybe on live streams live streams yes but we often had sheena in live streams well actually the reason is niso lives quite far from here and uh another reason is that right now we are just uh, trying and tinkering with different things for this live streams so basically in the past we we used to uh, have live streams, you know, quite randomly. Right now, we are still to um, to identify the right moment, where to stream, the right time. So when we have everything settled, uh, we are... Um, yeah, we admire Nocturna. Uh, yeah, Paolo! <laughs> no, sc scherzo. Uh, we admire Nocturna. Uh, yeah, we already said that. Ulva Har. It's a great band, and uh, yeah, Volturian as well. We also like uh, Chiara Beltrame and Chiara Beltrame. Of... Oh, my God. So, Claudia. Claudia, Beltrame. <laughs> Claudia Beltrame and Degrees of Truth, and that's it. Um, acoustic version of Lost in Time. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, good idea. If you come to US, what bands would you bring to play with you? Of course, Nocturna. Uh, wh how do you sing so well in English? Uh, I'm not sure if we bring, if we sing uh, to that, well. that well in English. We mm. try, we do our best. Uh, yes, we 
mm, try to, you know, improve uh, our accent through the years and everything. But we are Italians in the end, so sometimes something. <laughs> yeah. Allora, ma sono già passate, sono già passate due, un'ora e... e 40. Eh sì. Well, Celtic Melodies, uh, I think you can listen to something uh, in Call of the North, uh, the acoustic parts. I think uh, you can find some, something there. Uh, Eminem accent is good, make your sound unique. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> uh singing is easier yeah it's easier because you have time to think about it when you when we are in the studio we are uh... yes because you learn it before mm -hmm. yeah you know texas uh, uh we have been told that uh, but uh you know some british people for example are spotting us really easily um because uh, you know people that are not from america uh i, I don't know I, I, i mean america is filled with accents in every single place there is an accent and um of course it it sounds like we could be from america from some random place because but just that just because our english is wrong so it, it's not british you know Grande Paolo, ti aspettiamo and happy birthday. No, si fa in anticipo. E non si fa in anticipo. Jade, have you ever forgotten the lyrics? Yes, I think it happened I just a couple of times, uh, but not, you know, complete, totally forgotten. Uh, I think I just messed up a couple of sentences, uh, stupid stuff. I think this is because I've always sang. I my first performance dates in uh, when I was at the third year of kindergarten. <laughs> I continued. I learned a lot of songs uh, throughout my life. So I think it's something that it's easy for me. So it's not that mm, frequent that I forget lyrics. Oh no! Did you ever yeah. caught me? <laughs> Well, sometimes, sometimes. No, just a couple of times. Just with new no. songs, probably. <laughs> no, Grace is, uh, to me, is one of the funniest persons ever. I mean, I, I almost never laugh. Is, is that true? Yes. I don't, <laughs> I don't laugh for anything, but Grace Darkling is somehow, you know, she has the kind of comedic kind of attitude i really like her way of uh, acting and doing i also think jade is very funny you know they have this kind of funny thing you know people say that uh, beautiful girls can't be funny i mean you can be either or beautiful but i'm funny or ugly and funny but grace and jade are an example of a beautiful girl that are also very funny because they They really make me laugh a lot. They are so, so, I, I don't know. I don't know how is that. Yes, and how can I say, me and Greta are more, uh, you know, rustiche maybe. How can I say it in English? Yeah, they are more um, raw, rough, yes. rough. They, they are really uh, spontaneous. Uh, and true, they are not yes. uh, fake. They are not uh, overacting. They are so true and down to earth. They're really, I, I don't know, they have a great uh, attitude. That's really something I really like. Thank you. But what I was, I wanted to add, it's, it's that uh, one of the most, uh, you know, acute, uh, uh, how can I say, battute? Uh, jokes? Yes. Some of the most brilliant jokes uh, I heard from Ren. <laughs> Ren, you know, she drops yeah. that when you don't expect that. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but Ren has got uh, more of a sarcastic kind of uh, humor, yes. which I, I think is closer to mine, for example. She's more uh, serious most of the time. Instead, great, no, you're not ugly. Grace is uh, beautiful and funny 
and Jade as well. I mean, it's, it's so funny. And that's the thing I was think, talking about um, Japan, for example. Uh, when I sent the first pictures uh, of Jade to Japanese guys, they were like, oh, she's kawaii, kawaii, kawaii. That means she's cute and funny and tender and stuff like that. And they also loved uh, uh, Grace and Ren, uh, of course, as well. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, but that's something you know. Some people are funny. Some people are not. I am not funny, for example. <laughs> it depends. You are funny when you don't want to be funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, will you come to UK with Nocturna? That's an interesting question because we are we'll be working back. on that. Uh, I mean, concretely, we are just uh, trying to see if there's. Uh, uh, a worthwhile deal to do that but yes that could be possible hello vidal we love brazil we would love to come to play there of course uh, yeah ciao ciao, ciao, alex. Federico. ciao alex ciao hi alex. hi oh. hello alex is a friend of us uh, Oh, Fred Barnes, subscribe to Rise of the North Star and Ulvedhar. Yes, you did the right thing. Yeah, Rise of the North Star are not on the Scarlet Records, so be sure to buy Ulvedhar albums more because the money goes to, to the band and the Scarlet Records, of course. No, I, I'm joking, of course. I also love uh, Rise of the North Star, but they are very different. Which Italian singers do you listen to? Allora. And he, he, his nickname is Trap the Trap. Soul. <laughs> Due pequeño. Tedua. Allora, Tedua is the best uh, of the youngest ones. Due pequeño, Marrakesh, uh, Caneda. Quelli vecchi, cioè quelli più vecchi. Uh, cantante, vabbè, Tiziano Ferro è bravissimo. Molto bravo Tiziano Ferro. E, e io ho ascoltato per una vita Pino Daniele, eh, non so, vabbè, Pino Daniele, Gino Paoli, tantissimo Gino Paoli, tantissimo, e, vabbè, Fabrizio De André, Paolo Conte, tantissimo. Tu? No, eh, as I said before, Caparezza, and then, uh, you know, for... There, there have been a lot of songs that I liked from Elisa, and Elisa is a singer. Ma Elisa chi? Di Vombrosa? Ma che è Elisa? Elisa, cacchio! Non farmi dire Sto brutte scherzando. parole. And she comes from northeastern Italy, so it's close, close to me. And mm, when, for technical reasons, I, I have in my uh, exercises uh, set list something from George. <laughs> And it's, it's really funny because they are so Italian melodic songs and, uh, and so different from what I sing in the end. But, you know, uh, you have to, uh, as we were telling also about the composing, you have to uh, take from a lot of different sides to put everything together. So it happened that you can hear me sing something like... Vorrei illuminarti l'anima nel blu dei giorni tuoi più fragili. Ma che sta merda! Come una musica, come domenica, di sale la torre. Cringe, merda, cringe. No, now it was improvised and I'm cringe. sitting because you know I don't love cringe. to sing while I sit. I always sing standing because it's better for all the all the energy and muscle movements and uh, and everything. <laughs> Nocturna and air. Grace Darkling is in Nocturna. Search for. Nocturna, New Evil, because otherwise you're going to find some, uh, I don't know, Latin America bands called Nocturna that are not, not the real Nocturna. What a voice, girl. Thank you. 
Sei bello, grazie. Lo so, so bello, so bello. <ride> Ciao Alex. Ciao Alex, please soon. take good care of your wife. Yes, best of course. wishes. Yeah, too much for that microphone. Oh yeah, by the way, we are going to make uh, some uh, live streams uh, with the audio device where we are hopefully bring some uh, guitars or electric guitars um, to make some acoustic shows or maybe to have Fabiola or Iki to play. And uh, of course, I hope uh, we are going to be, I mean, able to do that. Look at the sexy position that Federico has. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's relaxing. Uh, I scouted, uh, well, as I said, uh, uh, Iki was already a friend of Jade. So uh, we, we just, yeah, I mean, we used to, to go out together, to have drinks together to know him as a friend before he entered the band. I, I have to, to go one second, Federico. I leave... Uh, Bye. I leave young Yoda. <laughs> Bye. Uh, for what concerns Nocturna, I remember, uh, and also Jade, uh, you know, from Facebook. But, you know, it's like Italy. It's like a, a big... Uh, not a big scene. So it's very small. So you know each other. So... Maybe I didn't know personally Grace or Jade or Ren, but of course uh, I knew they existed. I, I So, you know, we were friends on Facebook, stuff like that. But Grace wasn't putting likes on my posts. That's something I can tell you. Jade is uh, temporarily out. Uh, yes, Fafnir Bain. Jade uh, sang uh, Mariah Carey very often. Uh, unfortunately. I'm joking. So some people are joining the Discord channel. So people remember to join the Discord channel. We are going to, you know... In the Discord channel, you basically can chat with us, the band members. I heard Mariah Carey. <laughs> Scored to chat with us. Uh, yeah, you can chat that. with us, of course. And hopefully to not have people spam you stuff like it unfortunately happened today cioè sono ancora incazzato Por sono ancora incazzato guarda porca di una mignotta porco io, di un io canto intanto porca di una puttana porca porca di quella puttana in my sleepless only to tonight If it's wrong to love you, then my heart just won't let me be right. And yet you're so far like a distant star I'm wishing on tonight. I'd give my all to have. Just one more night with you, I risk my life to feel your body next to mine, cause I can't go on living in the memory of our song. That was Mariah Carey. Bellissimo, bellissimo, davvero stupendo. <laughs> Bene. So I have to do this. Uh, yes. As usual, of course. No, you know. Uh... Cosa? No, no, no. I'm checking the the comments. 
No, thank you very much to everyone. So guys, remember to check uh, Frozen. So now we uh, have to start uh, ending the live stream. But before we go, remember you can uh, check our stuff on frozencrown.net. We have these uh, vinyls, these new colored vinyls. There, there are the, the green, the blue, the red one. And you can order our entire discography. There's also The Fallen King, Ground in Frost. And you can also grab the Nocturna debut album in vinyl. And uh, you can order them uh, all together as a bundle. They are all colored, of course. And uh, what can I say? Yeah, these are the reprints of uh, our entire discography plus the Nocturna album. And uh, yeah, soon uh, our new album, Call of the North, is going to be out, no? Yes, soon, on the 10th yeah. of March. So, so be sure month. to pre-order on 80, uh, frozencrown.net. Uh, pre-order the stuff and pick it up in Milan. Mm, that's quite... Uh, mm, that's quite tricky. Okay, okay, okay. So remember, you can order everything. Remember, you can check the live show dates uh, remember so guys we are going to play one hour long set list which is going to be different from town to town so if you attend two shows in our european tour you are going to listen to different songs each night so of course be sure to to grab the the tickets and of course uh, remember we don't have vip tickets uh, that means uh, you can talk with us, you can have fun with us. We love to party, 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 party. So uh, we mm, don't do VIP tickets, all that kind of stuff that bands do to steal money from people. I mean, we just like to have fun. So if we like to have fun with people, why should we have people to pay for that? That wouldn't make no sense. So, of course, uh, when... Uh, they are splattered. They are splattered. All of them are splattered right now in uh, three different colors. Yes. I mean, uh, our entire discography. Uh, as I said, of course, uh, um, Beh, dillo pure tu, no? Cosa? Che ne so cosa vuoi dire? Cioè, Dove me... stai andando a parare? Gli altri gruppi fanno i VIP tickets. Per no. incontrare le persone, prima del sound check, tra l'altro cosa che odio. No, we, we are not, uh, you know, having meets and greets uh, before the show, uh, because we are uh, available after the show, all the time until uh, yeah. the venue closes. If you okay. join the uh, merchandise area, you're going to have the, of course, chance to talk with us and to have fun with us, to have a drink with us, so... Yeah, we don't do VIP tickets. The tickets are quite cheap, so uh, reach for us at our live shows. We will be very happy to play for you and then to meet you guys and have fun. Yes. Yeah, Jennifer Thomas. Mm. Yeah, we have to go to Cloud Dallas because it's been two hours. So, guys, it's been a pleasure, as usual. Mamo, che c'entrano i Nightwish? Ma che ce frega? Di... Di che vendi questo, no? It's a book of list man permits. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Go close the bar with Frozen Crown. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's it. So, guys, it's been a pleasure. Uh, see you next time in a live stream, uh, hopefully with uh, Sheena as well, uh, and maybe with Niso and Nikki, who knows? And, uh, yeah, maybe with some of the, of course, Nocturna girls, who knows, or guys. And uh, yeah, see you very soon. 
And thanks, Grace, for, for being the moderator of this chat. You've been awesome with your blue name, with, uh, with the screw. Wrench. No, with a wrench. Yeah, great. You've been perfect. We loved uh, <laughs> you. We would really love to have a video live stream with the Grace, with Ren as well. Maybe if we are, when we are together next time, we can make maybe an Instagram live, something you could. Yes, you of used to, to make uh, Instagram live streams. Yes, I love to make them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. No, no, but I'm happy you want to do that. Yeah. When we play together, maybe March 11 or maybe before, probably, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, Grace, uh, probably Jade is going to make uh, an Instagram live featuring uh, Grace and Ren. Who knows? Yeah, shout out to Grace. Uh, we are a big family. We love each other. Yes. Ciao, raga della Brianza. So, guys. Bene, sono le sette. So, Ciao everybody, see you February 24 with Nocturna in Bergamo. See you. I want Nikki. Ma chi è Nikki? <laughs> Nikki, chi vuoi che sia Nikki? Chi è Nikki? Nikki. Ah, e Nikki. Tutti che è scritto anche Nikki, anche certo, se vabbè. Certo. certo. And uh... No, Jennifer Thomas, there's no way to have that because they don't care about the band anymore. So, of course, no. Uh, to me, Pavarotti, but... Uh... No, I like them both because, you know, uh, Pavarotti has been a master of the classical stuff and then, uh, you know, he started this... Um, uh, collaborations with... Uh, uh, rock and pop uh, artist which has been amazing but how can i say I, i i also enjoy listening to andrea bocelli but you know maybe pavarotti has been more a rock star <laughs> pavarotti uh, it, it, it was better uh, on, you know on, on so many levels because he was bigger yes that, bigger that's that's, <laughs> that's bigger the bigger the better yes So, see you 24 of February with Nocturna in Bergamo. I'm talking in English because, of course, we have some people that come from abroad too. And see you March 11 for a very exclusive Frozen Crown show in Milano featuring... One of a kind. One of a kind performance with Grace Hartling and Wrestling Night singing Frozen Crown songs and a cover. And Federica Lanna singing Angels in Disguise and uh, a lot of other stuff and then see you on our uh european tour tickets on frozencrown.net to me creator bye ciao ciao bye ciao ciao